Hey, this is Asha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. And what I want to share with you today is a few terminologies basically from a question that we had. It's all about buying to open, buying to close, selling to open, selling to close. So stay tuned. If you're unsure about these kinds of terms, I'm going to answer these questions for you right now. So let's get started. All right, so really when it comes down to it, I wanna go ahead first and listen to the question and that way you get an idea of what it's all about. So stay, uh, stay tuned, let's take a quick uh, listen Hi, here. Hi Sasha, uh, this is Sunday. I like to trade options. I need you to interpret uh, something for me real quick. Uh, buy to close, MDT, which is a uh, Medtronic, uh, May 15, 2020, at $97.50 call at market average cost 242 at 100 contracts price per share is 99 sell to close mdt medtronic uh, may 15 2020 uh, 95 dollars call limit price four dollar thirty uh, uh, hundred contracts uh, price per share uh, 99 dollars could you please, you know, help me translate or trans uh, uh, or, you know, help me to interpret, you know, what that means? Thanks. Bye. OK, so when we look at this, um, really, we're looking at the terminology. I want you to first understand what's going on and what's happening uh, when it comes to just overall the, the concept of buying and selling things. Right. You're either buying something to open it or selling something to open it. You got to open something, right? If the door is closed, you got to open it. So if you don't have any shares or positions, you've got to open something up. If you do have shares and positions, now you have to close something up, right? If the door is open, in order to complete it, you got to close it. So it's either opening or closing. So that's what you're doing. Now, the way that this works here, let me show you here on uh, paper so you get an idea of how this functions. If I go ahead and um, look at buy to open, buy to close, uh, we're really looking at, okay, so first thing, buy to open, it doesn't matter which stock, buy to open, that means you have zero positions, zero contracts, zero shares. So if I buy to open, whether it's stock, let's say 100 shares, 100 contracts, doesn't matter. Buy to open, that means you're buying to open, let's say, uh, five contracts, which means it's a plus five, buy to open, five contracts at 120 strike, um, how many days out? Let's say 45 days out. So now, once you complete this order, you will be buying to open and you will get five contracts that are at 120 strikes 45 days out now buy to close okay what is what does buy to close really mean buy to close well in order for this to work buy to close it's a whole different game right so buy to close is different okay why is that different because in order to close something you've had to have something open so buy to close, you've had to have something open. So you might have had, uh, just to change the numbers around, you might have had three contracts you sold that were at 140 strike, and it was 37 days out. So what does that mean? That means in order for you to close it, what is it that you're, you're doing? Well, to close it, buy to close, you have to, this is what you're doing. Buy to close, you have to buy it back. So how does that work? Well, I need to now go ahead and buy three contracts. And I need to do the same thing, the 140s strike and 37 days out, or it's the same uh, expiration. And that will get me to zero. The goal is zero. Zero is means you're flat. You don't own anything. You don't owe anybody anything. So if you're buying to close, you have to have some kind of position. To close something, you have to have some kind of position open. And then to close it, then you're buying to close this out. Okay, now you can work in kind of reverse. So let's say we sell, sell to open. What do you think that means? Sell to open means I'm, I'm starting with a zero position. I'm trying to open something. That means I would sell first, let's say here, negative seven contracts. 
Okay, it could be at the 90 strike uh, 10 days out. So I'm selling to open, so I'm selling. And what am I left with? Then that means I have a negative seven contracts in my account. I owe somebody something, I, got, I sold to open. Now, what do I need to do? I need to, to close this, okay? That is where I go buy to close. That's this position. You started with this, you would buy to close. Now, you have the other thing here, sell to, uh, sell to close. And how does that work? Well, in order to close something, okay, sell to close, I would have to first have bought something. I would have had to have, let's say, plus nine contracts at 20, uh, 220 strike at 15 days out, just so we're talking about something different. Um, and now, what does that mean? I need to sell to close, so I'd have to negative nine contracts to close it uh, at the still same uh, strike, 15 days out, and so on. So how does this work? Well, I'm opening, here's my open, here's my open. I can start with these. These are the ones I can start with. I can open up the position, and then, the buy to open, so now I need to sell to close. So this one goes with this one, okay? That's how you close that position, okay? A buy to close, this one, well, first you gotta sell to open, then you buy to close. So you sell to open, this one goes to that. So this is kind of, you know, step one, and this will be step two. If you're doing it a different way, uh, this will be step one, and this will be step two. So you're buying, to, you're buying to open, so basically you're opening up the position with a buy order, and then you have to close the position with a sell order. In this case, you're opening the position with a sell order, and you're uh, closing the order with a buy order. So that's the way that it works. Uh, really, the terminology uh, is just kind of, you, do you really need to know buy to open, or buy to close, or sell to open? Not, not necessarily. Uh, because as you take a look at this and we go into our contracts and we start playing with these, well, if I'm looking to get into Disney right here and let's say I'm selling five, well, if I don't have any contracts here, I'm going to be opening up that position. That's all that means. If, I, if I'm buying four or adding four contracts, that means I'm going to be opening up four contracts because I don't have any positions. It doesn't say here buy to open or buy to close. That's usually when you're doing it on a web browser. Because uh, I could sell or buy, it doesn't say to open or to close because this platform understands, hey, you probably know what you're doing. Uh, if I'm doing something more on Netflix here, well, look, I've got positions. So how do I close these uh, trades out? Well, in this case, this one, because I'm plus one, I've bought to open. Well, now negative one would be sell to close. Okay, let's go to the second one just as an example. This one I've sold to open. Well, how do I close it? I buy to close. This one, I buy to close. This one, negative two, I would buy to close it. This one, because I'm plus two, I would sell to close. Uh, and this one, I've, I've sold one to open it. So now, I would buy one to close it. This one, I've bought one to open it, so I would sell one to close it. So that's how these kind of work, and together this kind of creates a weird iron condor strategy, um, but overall these were verticals, so I did start out with, you know, I've done a vertical, I've sold a vertical to open. Uh, does it really matter that I've called it sell to open? No, it's just, hey, I've sold a vertical. That, you know, you just simplify the lingo. Um, so anyways, that's really the terminology. Usually those are used in a web browser kind of thing, but I hope you found that kind of helpful, insightful, and it gave you some things to think about. But don't let the terminology confuse you. Instead, kind of focus on your position. Are you negative one? Are you positive one? Uh, where are you at personally? And, um, you know, you're just trying to get back to zero. That's really the key. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me. Remember to hit the subscribe button if you're new here and join us. If you have a question, feel free to reach out on our website at tradersfly.com or grab some of the uh, free training that we have available on our website as well. Thanks for joining me and remember to do what you love, contribute to other people, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.